What is this, part nine now? We are on part nine. Nine, Man. everybody. Taint Peter, Tommy Teabags, and we are flying through, I think, this playthrough of uh, Lords of the Fallen. Our new you guys don't game. actually, yeah, you guys don't actually know how long it's taken us, but um, it feels like it's just breathing by. It does, it does. Well, you know, the second playthrough on a game like this always feels a little faster, I guess, because you're not like, yeah, you know where everything is, and you're not kind of nervously creeping around, like wondering who's going to ambush you. You're like, nah, I know where these guys are. I'm just going to run over there. At least I think that's part of it. Um, oh, absolutely. Our, oh, we've got this boss, this guy. So, guys, oh, I that's actually. That's right. I know how to cheese him. Maybe we'll try to beat him the right way. Just wants just to be proper. You gotta op <laughs> t take out your lamp. You gotta destroy all of his like umbral pods right here. Is one. Mm -hmm. And boy, he is an asshole though. I will tell you. You gotta be careful. So there's three in front of him, and then there's one behind him. And he's a bit of an Boom. asshole right here. Right. Or she. His pods have been removed. And so is my life. Oh shit! That oh yeah oh forgot about that attack. That one that one stings, guys. That one stings pretty fucking bad. Gonna try to bring my buddy in here. I'm beginning to think this might not be a good one to roll around nude in. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna try to hit oh, him with boy. some oh, boy. Maybe I can get some bleed damage going on this son of a bitch. There we go. It's working. You know, cause he likes to throw shit. I can throw shit too. Piece of shit. Woo! And if he really wants to play toys, I'll come back in here and use a poison grenade on his bitch ass. Oh shit, that hurt. In fact, maybe I'll use a poison grenade on his bitch ass right now. Right now. <laughs> Dude, he oh, is man. a he is a straight up butthole. Son of a bitch. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna have to do better than that to get old Taint Peter, buddy. Yes, you are. Give you another poison grenade to think about. Now all I gotta do is dodge this guy's <laughs> shit. Bring my pal in. All right, he's poisoned to hell and back. I'll tell you that right now. Switch back to my knife, maybe give him a couple ratatats in the grill. Boom. Poisoned and bleeding. I mean, that's just no way to go through life. You know what I mean? Poisoned and bleeding, man. So just dodge. Ooh. I think he's pretty fucked up. Um, give a nice little knife in the face there. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here and shoot arrows. Yeah. Oh, he does not look happy. He's like filled with arrows. Look at this. Oh, we beat this fucking dude's ass first time. <laughs> look at that. Hell yeah. I think Center I need to get into my judge. creed pose. Can you take <laughs> me higher? I don't, know. I don't know why that reminds me of Creed. Maybe does he ever do that? I think he does. Maybe it's in, like the, in, the arms wide open. I mean, open in our minds, he, yeah. In our oh, minds, the he arms does. wide open for sure. So here's the thing, guys. Real quick, just a little walkthrough tip. Um, you may have forgotten because the stress is so. This fight is so stressful. You do not need to put a vestige seed here. There is one right back around the corner where you came from. Um, if you're anything like me, you will probably have fought this guy a bunch before you get past him, and you'll be like, thank God, let me put one down. Don't. You're fucking two feet from one. Sorry, just, I just I felt like I had to share that tip. Yeah, you're not in high school anymore. Don't waste your seed. Don't waste your seed. Do not spill your seed unnecessarily. Now, the one thing I will say is actually maybe we should go back and rest at that because I'm realizing now we, we did go through a lot of health but trying to fight that boss. Yeah, that's true. He did have to revive me quite a bit. So you probably need some more health. I do. I have none left. This guy's coming dangerously close to making me need one. All right, cool. Let's let's go rest real fast. After that whole speech I gave about the umbral seed too, how embarrassing. Mm. I was like, now okay, listen man. here, everybody gather around. I'm going to tell you where to put your umbral seed. And then I foolishly walk off with no heals. Well, I think it's actually just a great example of how you don't need to put a seed down right there. Because yeah. you can just do this, you know? Look at this. It's right here. Oh, I can upgrade my character, too. Uh, do you want to just real quick come into my game and do this? Or I know we just started yeah, recording. Yeah, no, that's totally fine with me. I mean, the, what better time than now? As Rage Against the Machine once famously said, you know, what? what is it? What greater time Sleep than now this? now in the fire? <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. well, well, we are literally <laughs> sleeping now in the fire as well. 
Uh, okay, cool. Well, let me go ahead and separate us out, and you go ahead. Kick Tommy Teabag. Sorry, buddy. You're kicked. And you just Ooh. invite me into your game, and I'll bring my little pointy hat, barbed wire wearing ass in there. You know, it's actually interesting. I am not there yet, so we're going to have to make our way to there. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, even better then. I'll bring you on in. You can see exactly where we are. I have to say, I am proud of that fight. Ooh, Lords of the Fallen just crashed on me. Oh, shit. Well, let's just go ahead and stop the recording then. This game is on my mind all the time. Staring at your behind. Yeah, I'm always staring at the behind. Well, let's go fight our way up here. We've killed the Infernal Enchantress. She is now gone. Did you get the item over here? I think it was like the holy, uh, I, like the holy grenade or something. Yeah, I did the holy vial. I think it was. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that's what it was. I think I grabbed that off camera. Just kind of ducked over there at some point. Was like, let me grab this. Yeah. In, you in don't between want one that. of our playing videos. All right, let's get up here and kill this fucking piece of shit. Come on, motherfucker. Oh, you didn't expect my friend, did you? Hey, peekaboo. Oh, yeah. Prowling around like you're going to bully us? I don't think so, pal. Not today, Oops. mister. I throw a little poison arrow on him. I just parried the fuck out of that guy. I love a good parry. Actually, this build I'm doing right now is pretty good for it. I mean... It's got that nice light shield that's pretty much only good for parrying. <laughs> yeah, this shield's great though, man. I mean, right, over it here. parries fantastically. Pyrrhic Cultist Flail. That might be a good weapon for my build, actually. Let's see, really fast. I just want to see what that does. Scales with agility, and it does nothing that I'm impressed by. Okay, never mind. It said Pyrrhic Cultist Flail. I was thinking Agility, Inferno, you know, like maybe that's oh, yeah. going to fit right in with what I'm trying to do here, but no, nah, it's a piece of shit. Oh, what's down here, dude? I've never been down here. Hey, hey. Uh, let's see. Ho, oh, ho. I don't think I've been down here either, actually. Dude, come take a walk across the bridge with me. There's a, a guy over here. walk on the wild side? Dude right here. Going to kick him. All right, he's dead now. Uh, do we need to jump? Like, what's going on here? Okay, there's an umbral... Umbral bridge. Oh my god, look at all this shit, dude. Oh, and there's a ladder. It's a oh. shortcut, man. It's a shortcut oh, back to our vestige. So I was wondering where this ladder actually was. I never found it in my first playthrough. Look at that. Look at fucking that. Guys, this is the kind of content you're gonna find. When you watch Tommy and Taint just do their thing. Look, we don't have all the answers right away, but we're always bound to find them out. And I think this is a great example of how we really found something new out here. We did. Well, you know, the guys like us, we're just curious like little cats. We can't help but poke our noses into all the business that's that there is to poke into. And, uh, you know, while we're gonna, sniffing around this old shanty, uh, we discovered this. We're going to paw our way through here, you know? Yep. And we're going to bury some turds. And by that, I mean, we're going to kill all these bad guys. That's right. If I see a corner, I'm going to spray some pee in it. Yep. And I'm talking now about real life, not just the game. I'm going to urinate everywhere. I don't have a problem with that. I will piss. Yeah, and I certainly hope our viewers don't either. Well, you know, I can't control that, but I, I sure hope that they like to, to piss and watch piss. And, yeah, it's just uh, I hope they like piss as much as we do. This fucking guy. Always wants to creep out. I'm gonna be honest, guys. It's not this part that's tough. It's what's about to come next, in the form of one of these fucking fire knights. That if you're playing by yourself, he can be a little tricky. You know well, when I got when okay. I yeah, go ahead. Just wanted to make sure you made it through there. Oh yeah. So what's what's here? Now I'm wondering about this door. Is there like a secret? Oh no, there's not. There's not. Okay. There's an item I missed right here, though. Let me grab this. I think it's just a dropped item. Probably nothing good. Mm -hmm. Eh, minor fire salts. Not terrible. Can be useful. Good to collect them. 
Uh, so this is the guy I'm talking about. This guy I find to be really difficult by myself for some reason, but when I'm playing with my old buddy Tommy, I don't worry about it. Here he is. In fact, I'm going to use a Forsaken Grenade on his bitch ass. Oh, we got all these boys that just come up from behind too, huh? Yep, that is exactly right. Nah, that's what kind of makes it a bitch. He is a little bit poisoned, but I don't think it's doing too much damage to him. Let's see. Perhaps. Oh, fuck you, man! Right, you he know, didn't mind me shooting at him. I will say, bleed damage fucks this guy up. He hates it. Uh, I'm. Oh my god! I'm the last man that. standing from that little altercation. <laughs> Jesus, that was crazy. Let's get my buddy back in here. Come on. Good news is, guys, we're about to put a vested seed down, and then we are going to take you on a little walkabout to show you some easy to miss items that you are probably going to want some more than others depending on your build but there's some cool cool shit coming up and I have to give credit to my old buddy Tommy Teabags for showing me a few of these things oh thanks man and I'm gonna have to backtrack for a second and tell you uh, I thought you were about to say when you said it was a good time I thought you were gonna say it's a good time for me to take a sip of my beverage because that's exactly what I did uh, well, when you were reviving me right there well, why don't we take a time to do that right now let's rest at this vestige I, you know I've got a beverage Tommy's got a beverage I'm also gonna upgrade my character mm, mm, mm. Mm. I might actually save these uh this amount of vigor that I have right now. I do some upgrading a little bit later. Mm, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll try to save up a little vigor for that myself. I have a funny feeling this new bow that I have is going to last me for a little while. In fact, after we get through this area, we might want to do a little bit of that farming. I don't know what your, your weapons are at, but I, I'm at plus Boy. five, and I'm going to need some bigger derailium to get me to the next level. And you're going to want to get uh, these bows that are in this area, so we definitely need to farm around in there. Yeah, we do. Well, okay, it's gonna be so that now, part of the playthrough. Go ahead. Now, now, right up here is we're gonna come to what appears to be a dead end, but we're gonna show you a little something special up here. And don't forget this Especially poison for knife over builds. in this corner. For this build, this poison knife is gonna be cool. And then, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, oh, Tommy, I'd like you to just take me on the tour that you took me on earlier, and show Great. the audience. Exactly yeah, me, where me, we're going. Let me just show you something here. So, yeah, as he showed you, you know, we got a poison knife over here. And we keep coming up here. And, you know, you got these guys that kind of crawl out of the uh, firewall right here, right? I thought if you just go up these stairs, oh, if you don't lag out, like mm -hmm. this game loves to do, kind of come up these stairs and realize there's nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. However, uh, Taint, can you do me a quick favor and just kind of bring us into the umber real quick? Oh, sure thing, Tommy. Uh, oh, my. Oh. oh, we got an assassin up here. Let's give him some business. Oh, he's, he's cornering me. I'm going to bail out for a moment and heal up. No, now he's cornering you. I don't like the looks of this. Yeah. I'm gonna come in here and attack him as best I can. Alright, so it gets a little hairy right there, right? But you can see that we got these blue veins here, and there's an area up there to go ahead and release. That's right, we're gonna pop that there, and then look, all of a sudden, this little no. umbral well, we got we got mm. this one down here. We want to come down here and pull oh, my finger. Oh, that's right. Yeah, look at that. So then down <laughs> here. <laughs> Let's pull the finger. And now, look at that beautiful, beautiful sight. Now, now you know when that blue butthole opens up. <laughs> <laughs> Something's gonna happen, right? That was basically uh, what James Cameron said in the pitch meeting for Avatar <laughs> when he was trying to get get it sold. <laughs> All right, now it's gonna get crazy up here. So why don't you go ahead and take that item right there? That's right. I'm gonna uh, immediately pop that. You guys do not really want to fuck around in here. It is a shit show. Pop another heal. Yeah, I would say just bail out. They've got multiple of these flying 
awful like moth butterfly ladies. We hate them. Tommy and I hate those those women. We do not like to fight them. So we're just gonna run away. The item has been acquired. I think. I fucking I hope so. so. I believe so. Let me let me check real quick. Let's just go ahead and rest here. I know you got it. As long as you picked it up, I didn't see it laying on the ground. It should be the sword of uh, what is it? it? Starts with an R. It's Rosamund's. Rosamund's sword. Yep, yeah, we got it. We got it. All right, resting. Great. Boom. And so, guys, that's a little side detour, but it's one that I think is worth taking for you. This area yeah. that we're in right now is actually chock full of, of items and stuff, so it's a little bit tough, and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass in here. I mean, just look at it. It's a, it's like a castle slash neighborhood that's on fire. It's filled with asshole enemies, but there's so much shit hidden here. I do so beseech much. you to take your time and, like, really just try to explore it, even though it's annoying as fuck. Yeah, if you look down here, actually, down to the right, I believe there's probably an item. Oh, there's this bad boy right here again. Oh, I love that bleed damage. Look at it go. Look at it go. So what you're going to want to do here, you'll be like, where am I supposed to go? That other place is a dead end. Anytime you run into that in this game, the answer is, boom, the, the umbral. The I'll go ahead and bring that over to us. Ah, oh, thank you. You know, it's like opening the door for you, you know? Well, I just appreciate that. Now, guys, as we're traveling across, I'm going to show you on my screen. Look up and notice that there's like a strange bat creature hanging right there. Kill this before you cross. Tommy, do you want to hit him with your bow? You got a, a really nice bow attack. Let me give him a little fire here. Oh, half and dead. And he is gone. <laughs> that is that what amazing. you call being a yeeted. Now, you're going to think you want to go over here, but reality, what you probably want to do... Let's see, can we get over it? No, you usually can't. You actually no. got to drop down here, and there's lots of fucking shitty enemies. Just go deal with it. Just get down, start beating the shit out of everybody. Oh my god, oh my god, I got fucking bullied immediately. <laughs> it's okay, folks, I'm coming back in the umbral. It doesn't no, we're usually in that go. Bullet. You're dead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's a great point, Tommy. I am now dead. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest, guys. It doesn't usually go quite that poorly. Uh, usually, it's a little tough because you're getting mob attacked, but you can swing and fight your way out of it. In that case, I got bent over a barrel and someone put their finger out my butthole. Let's just be honest. Let's kill this guy. And any moaning or sounds of pleasure you heard, uh, that's just a rumor. I didn't. I did not do that. There were actually none. Now, if you don't mind, if you want to do this, you can always sacrifice your buddy that you're playing with to go that's down there and take the brunt. Brunt. Don't <laughs> forget about. <laughs> forget take about this guy up here. up here. Yeah, yeah, please. So these fire arrows that Tommy suddenly has, we're gonna find him in this game. We actually. We're playing in his game and not recording when we found it, but we're going to show you in this playthrough where they came from. Do a drop down on that guy. Yep. And nothing thing you, you, can, can do... you can blow up all those walls right there. Yes, and I'm going to. Okay, this is getting fucking ridiculous. There's a little hairy up here. Oh, bam, oh, we're getting invaded. Perfect time for a fucking Crimson Ritual. Well, let's get us out of the Umbral at least. Why yep. can't I use this? Why can't I use this? Is he preventing you, maybe? Yeah, maybe I can't use this because we've been invaded? I don't know. His name's Vinny, and I'm not happy that he's here because... There he is, right here. Oh, you want us to come up there, I bet, Vinny, don't you? Because you're a coward who wants us to fight you with a bunch of other enemies around. Oh, you've been surrounded, Vinny. Oh, he's got bleed damage stuff happening. No, he's not That's the only one. That's pretty cool. He's not I the only like one. I do like that. Oh, you cowardly bitch. So, guys, we come from the old school Dark Souls world where, you know, healing up during a fucking duel is kind of a bitch move. Yeah, come in, shoot your shot, and get out. If you fucking are getting your ass kicked, just die and get out. That's my philosophy on this. 
Then again, I'm not an invader because I'm not a fucking punk ass. Here, let's get him. God, this guy's pissing me off. I don't have the fucking stamina to keep up with him. Oh, I'll pop a heal too. Yeah, you should. Are you gonna run away? You watch fucking... out. Yeah, there's a there's a big fire sorceress up there. Oh, I oh oh I know. Oh, I'm not going anywhere near that shit. I hide right here. Hey, he's gonna keep trying to throw these bleed things down. Oh yeah, wouldn't you like to fucking fight like that, you little punk ass? Yep, he got me. That's a little OP, don't you think? I love it when they emote like they did something incredible, when like this guy's so much higher level than us and we almost just kicked the shit out of him. Yeah. He, he should have destroyed us with what he has. Yep, yeah, what's up with those uh, crazy javelins, man? So that's the thing, I don't even know. I've already beat the fucking game. I'm like going through another playthrough. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that is. But that's the thing. Like, he should have killed us way quicker for what he had going on. Because we are not that powerful yet. Yeah, I wonder if that's, like, uh, New Game Plus stuff or something. I mean, it could be. I'm not sure. So New Game Plus, that's a great point. I'm not sure. Can they invade normal game? I, I, I don't, don't know. know. I don't fucking know. One thing I do know is I was, I'm going to go get that Vigor back. And we are going to destroy some butthole here. Never forget oh, that. Man. Never you forget the him end. right down here. He's been yeeted. Let's see here. Maybe that was some regular delirium off of him. Did you get that? No, I didn't. Thank you for pointing that out. All right. I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna run up the hill. Yep. To try same to bait here. All these Let's guys. just go up. If we're gonna bait a bunch of these guys. <laughs> there we go. See, you could suck the red things off the wall. It'll do you a lot of help. Do you have major service? Look at how much easier it is when you can actually just do that. So much better than the last two attempts to come up here. And now I can actually exit the Umbra, which you're definitely going to want to do here, guys. Because mm -hmm. there's another fire enchantress coming up. One of the criticisms this game has gotten is that once you beat a boss, sometimes they become normal enemies in the world afterwards. And this is a great example. I mean, this is the boss we just beat. This is the fucking Infernal Enchantress. Now, granted, she doesn't have exactly the same thing going on with all those pods and the, you know, uh, shield and everything, but it, she's got the same attacks. It's the same character design. I don't mind it. I do hate this fucking enemy, personally, but people are pissed about that. I don't really give a shit. Look, you know, the game's fun as fuck. Who cares? Shut up. That's kind of my take on the whole thing. Yeah, uh, so you're throwing a couple of challenges. Yeah, so what? They take a boss, they make it a normal enemy later. Like, whatever. Why don't All you right, go, so go make your own oh, bow of the convert? That's a cool bow. That's what I have. That's what you want to get leveled up. Okay, bow of the convert. We're going to come down here and then, guys, I'll show oh, you. I jumped off, but you can jump down and get those uh, arrows right there now. I can. Are you okay down there? You're alive. All right, so. I'm alive. Looking at my screen, guys, you're going to want to come down here, and I'll show you really quick just in case you've been confused by the uh, by the walk around. So we just killed the Infernal Enchantress Lady up here. We're going to go down, down, down this way, and we're going to walk off the edge. Boom. This item right here, these are cinder arrows. They're fire arrows. They're the, what you've seen Tommy Teabag's using. And I don't know how cool they are because I just got them right now. But, Tommy, why don't you tell us? Are you loving the cinder arrows or what? Oh, well, if you're watching my screen right now, let me just put them in action. <laughs> As I just got killed by <laughs> nice. cinder bolts. But, well, yes, absolutely. Those The cinder arrows are... Oh, check uh, it out. I can revive you at the top of this. Well, we've been nice seeing power. you kill, kill with them. They do seem badass as fuck. So what you're going to want to do here, guys, to, to proceed is enter the umbral. Right here. And start by pulling this one. And then I guess, Tommy, you want to pull the one across the way? Let's see. I think I can do that. I got some on bow away here. So this is kind of like a two-part bridge connection. Oh, some fucker's trying to get at you. I don't like that. Don't like that one bit. 
That'll come over, you'll make a little jump, and you'll fall to your death. Just like that. <laughs> I actually survived that, believe it or not. Oh, Kayla. no kidding. Yeah, that's kind of wild, but, uh... Let's see... Oh, you know why? It's because that, that, that area has to be... That area has to be pulled first. Are you down there? You're not coming back up, are you? Well, I'm trying to figure out if I can come back up, and I'm not sure that I can. Hmm. All right, well, I'll just take care of this then. There it was. So what it was is you have to pull them open and then you have to pull one side back. I can exit the umbral down here at the very least. Of course there's fucking enemies near and it doesn't want to do that with enemies near. Alright, so we're down here. Now look, normally we would come down via a different route, but that's okay. Um, there is get some the stuff to do there. here. Yeah, let's go get the items down here. Now careful guys, down here there is a trap item. Uh, so look at, the, look at the wiggling tails of each of these. I don't think it's this. I think this is real. It is Dark Oath Tanked. We should do a whole episode called Talking Tanks, where we just like look at. Oh, this. I love that! Yeah. All right, here it is. Here's the trap item, guys. Do not fuck with this. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's over here. Don't fucking pick it up. Soul flay it. Soul flay it, and you're gonna get that extra charm paw out of that. I just got fucking killed in the umbral just for opening my lamp. What the fuck? I hate it when that happens, man. It's such bullshit, man. Like, I pulled it out for one second, a butterfly lady grabbed me. Alright, I'm gonna go back up here and... Oh, I can't leave the umbral now. Oh, yeah, what a we've already used fucking it. piece of shit, bitch. Fuck you, you butterfly asshole. To call you a butterfly is an insult to butterflies. You're clearly a moth. One thing you can do in this area, though, when you're in the Umbral, is under this bridge here. You can come here and uh, utilize this for some Umbral scourings. Oh, yeah. Things. Did you notice you that um, our boy, the Iron Wayfarer, is over I here? It's not easy, but it can be a I did. I did. And I need to come talk to him. I want to give you something and you know what? We can actually open a shortcut while we're down here. Girl. When I used to get scared, I'd hold it very, very tightly. And that's when it would reveal its magic to me. And I'd know there was no need to be afraid. So the next time you get scared, I want you to be a brave girl and do the same thing. Understand, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elian. I promise. Awesome. You'll get the odd stone from doing that. That's something you can give to Pieta later. Mm-hmm. I've heard things in Mornstead. And yeah, do not forget to talk to the Iron Wayfarer. He's hidden right here. You're gonna want to progress sure. his shit. I'm not sure if I talk to him right there. You should be able to come back for him. And then one last thing that's easy to, to miss down here is on the bridge, coming up here. Jump mm -hmm. over this. Mm -hmm. And down in here, there is an item right here. Yep. That is regular Duralium Nuggets. Who doesn't want more of that? Mm. For breakfast. Yeah, I'm all about them nuggets. And then if you come down, so because we can't go back up from here, which we need to, one positive thing you can do is come down here, grab this item real quick right here, Defiled Infantry Bow, that's the second bow in this area, mm -hmm. and you can open this shortcut. To show you Watch what out. this they're is. Gonna come in oh, yeah, they're gonna come in real hot. Throw some poison. Oh, they got me cornered, Jesus. 
And actually, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is run past these guys to the vestige. Yeah. And then we'll warp to the other one. Although, fuck, while we're down here... Ah, I can come back for that. That's what I'm going to do. Go back to the vestige. I'm out of heals. I need my buddy. Sometimes you got to make a tactical retreat, guys. You know, there's no shame in that. Know when the fight is over. And know when you need to get back to your vestige. And bring your buddy right. back. That's just a mature move, really. Mm-hmm. First, I will rest. And then I will warp. Warp back to our seed that we had up top. Okay. Well, we just so happened to both get knocked off the edge that time, my friend, and that's not the way it's supposed to go. So this time, we're going to get over there the way it's supposed to go down. I guess we got to fight this dickwad first, huh? Oh. oh, he just didn't stand a chance. He sure didn't. <laughs> nice and shoot. that's what those sender arrows do. What do you think? Should we jump off and run up again? Uh, yeah, we, we can't jump over right now, can we? No. Oh. Yeah, let's just run on up. Oh, wow. Lag me back over. Well, the good news is I blew, uh, blew up those red things, and boy, did they work. Did you get out of the umbrella yet? Nope, not yet. Ah, oh, fucking piece of shit. What was that? I'm coming up, man. I'm coming up. Watch out for the guy behind me. I think I'm immune while I'm doing that. All right, sweet. What a dong, you know what I mean? Uh, can we sneak uh, past this? Is still, yeah, we could probably run by it. Nope, she's right fucking here being a complete asshole. Bleed damage. Alright. Ah, uh, damn it. God, she's a real piece of shit, huh? Yep. Oh, fuck. She lit me on fire in one fucking hit. Fucking bitch. God damn. I hate the fucking infernal enchantress. And I make. Yeah, but I'm really glad to see that, uh,. Smokey the Bear taught you well. Because that's how you oh, stop yeah. drop and roll there. That is. Well, I'm going to get her with a little poison because I know, I know for a fact from beating her as a boss that she does not like to be poisoned. Oh, yeah, really? She can shoot me when I'm not even in fucking visual range of her? Uh, that seems pretty cheap to me. I don't know. Developers, are you listening? Bullshit? Calling it? A little bit? <laughs> oh, fuck oh, you. Jesus. Fucking piece of shit. Oh my god, I fucking hate her. It feels good to win, but at what cost, you know? I have no more fucking heals left after that encounter. I hate her. Although, look, I got her helmet. That's kind of nice. Uh, I'll cool. use a Brio stone. Hold on. Get all this other weird shit off my fucking hotbar. Don't need any of this crap, but I do want a Brio stone. Brio stones, guys, they'll just give you a little slow heal. Nothing impressive. You pop them, you consume them slowly, they heal you. What else do you want to know? Good news is we're very close to a vestige if we can just make it across this stupid fucking bridge. All right, now wait. Yep. Yep, great. Okay. Now we can get through. Definitely still jump. Just, just, you know, just because. And that's where we can get out of the umbra right here. That's right. Of course, because I've been in the umbral, I have this stupid wither in my health bar. I'm going to throw a, a poison grenade at this dickwad over here. Oh my god, fuck. Who the hell is doing that? There's a couple of bungholes down there. They're just nasty boys who never learned their lesson. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, I'm going to try to get across here. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, fuck. All right, I'm going to get this vestige at all costs. Please. That's my go. number one priority <laughs> right now. <laughs> Luckily, I know right where it is. It's up here. Let's just grab it. Activate the vestige. Cool. Rest. All right. My buddy is back. I will say this is probably a good place to pause the playthrough and pick it up in the next episode. Uh, actually, really quickly, let's talk to this NPC here. Hello, one Don't forget this guy out here. A nice man with a oh, interesting. Told me it's all about is taking Melchior to war. And look, I found a helmet. I believe this is the guy that we met in the caves in Fitzroy's Gorge. That's a good sign, that is. Belkia said Mornstead were going to be the answer to all our problems. I don't know. He'll sort everything out. Blimey. The insert don't forget to talk to him. He gives you a little emote. And mm -hmm. you can hand over the unripe berries to him Ooh, that we found earlier. I feel like I could run a million billion. No monster better game. Mm -hmm. He's excited. Look out, baddies. Look out, baddies. All right. And, uh, yeah, let me just grab this item right here. Grab that. The last thing I want to do before we cut this is just show everybody. Kick down this ladder out here. Kick it down. I want to do that. And look at that dirty, dirty enchantress back there just teasing around. Uh, she's a real piece of shit, and I think we all know it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There is one more item down there that I know about, but I don't think we're going to get it because I don't think it's worth it. It's the one that you went down and up and across a little rope bridge type thing for. Yep. I think that's for another playthrough or perhaps yeah, a separate I don't, video. No, I think it might have been some more ripe berries. I don't even remember like how important it was. Yeah, it was something stupid. It was something that we were thinking would be cool, and then when we got to it, it was like... Fire salt. Uh, it might have been like bleed salts or holy. It, it might have been a salt of some sort, you know. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, there's another um, ladder right there that we didn't. Oh, I know how down. to get that ladder. I know how okay. to get that. We got to go forward to get that one. All okay. right. Well, guys, this has been uh, part nine of our playthrough. I think. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Seems like at this point we've both beaten the infernal enchantress and made it through Lower Kalroth. We're going to start getting into Upper Colorado soon here, so why don't we pause this and we'll uh, meet you on the next one. That's right. We'll see you then. Woo!